Have you ever stopped to wonder what time truly is and where it began? An intriguing question, isn't it? Time, a notion so integral to our existence, is paradoxically one of the most elusive concepts to grasp. It's like the air we breathe, always present but rarely contemplated. At its most fundamental level, time is a measurement, a system by which we sequence and compare events. It's the heartbeat of our universe, rhythmically ticking away the moments that make up our reality. But where did it start? When was that first tick, the inaugural talk? These are questions that have puzzled philosophers, scientists and thinkers for centuries. Time's origin is a mystery shrouded in cosmic paradoxes and theoretical conundrums. To pierce this veil of enigma, we'll be journeying through a fascinating collection of theories, a top ten, if you will, that have attempted to explain the genesis of time. Each one is a unique perspective, a different lens through which to view this intricate puzzle. From the explosive beginnings proposed by the Big Bang Theory to the cyclical models of time's birth and death, we'll be delving into the heart of this mystery. We'll explore concepts from quantum cosmology that paint time as a swirling loop, forever curling back onto itself. And we'll venture into the mind-bending world of string theory, where time might just be one thread in an infinite cosmic tapestry. As we embark on this journey, remember that the nature of time is as vast as the universe itself. The theories we'll discuss are stepping stones, guiding us through the nebulous terrain of our understanding. Each one is a testament to human curiosity, to our relentless quest to comprehend the world around us. So, buckle up as we travel back to the very beginning, to the birth of time itself. Our journey begins with the ancient philosophers. As we delve into history, we encounter the towering figures of Aristotle and Plato who pondered the mysteries of time. In their view, time was not something that had a start or a finish. It was an ever-present, unchanging constant. Aristotle, the student of Plato, saw time as a measurement of change, a concept tied to motion and alteration. He believed that as long as the universe has existed, so has time. His teacher, Plato, had a similar view. For him, time was a moving image of eternity, a ceaseless cycle of the heavenly bodies that had no beginning or end. These ancient minds grappled with time's enigma, laying the groundwork for the philosophers and scientists who would follow in their footsteps. They saw time as an eternal river, flowing without a source or a destination. For them, time was an eternal concept, with no clear beginning or end. Fast forward to the 20th century and we encounter the Big Bang Theory. In the grand tapestry of scientific theories, none has quite the same cachet or widespread recognition. Yet, what does it actually propose? The Big Bang Theory is a cosmological model that provides us with a comprehensive explanation of the observable universe's evolution from its earliest known periods. It's a concept that emerged from Einstein's theory of general relativity coupled with a wealth of astronomical observations. Let's break it down a bit. Picture the universe as an ever-expanding balloon. Now, imagine running this expansion backwards. What happens? Everything in the universe converges to a single point, a singularity, a moment where all matter, energy, space, and yes, even time itself began. This is what we commonly refer to as the Big Bang, a term coined by British astronomer Fred Hoyle, albeit somewhat dismissively. According to this theory, the universe emerged from a state of extremely high temperature and density, expanding rapidly in a process known as cosmic inflation. As the universe cooled, it allowed for the formation of subatomic particles and later simple atoms. Giant clouds of these primordial elements later coalesced through gravity to form stars and galaxies, and voila, here we are billions of years later contemplating it all. The Big Bang Theory provides a compelling narrative of cosmic evolution, one that is supported by a multitude of empirical evidence. Observations of distant galaxies show us they're moving away from us, implying that the universe is expanding. The detection of the cosmic microwave background radiation, a faint echo of the Big Bang, provides further credence to this theory. But crucially, what does this mean for the concept of time? Well. If the Big Bang theory holds true, time, as we understand it, began with that initial singularity. There was no before the Big Bang, because time itself didn't exist. 
This theory suggests that time began with the Big Bang, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. But what if our universe is just one of many? Enter the oscillating universe theory. This intriguing concept proposes a universe that's not a one-hit wonder, but a never-ending performance. Imagine a universe that breathes, inflating with a Big Bang, then deflating in a big crunch. Now picture this cosmic respiration happening over and over again in an eternal sequence of expansion and contraction. That's the essence of the oscillating universe theory. Each oscillation is a universe in itself, birthed in a fiery Big Bang and dying in a cataclysmic Big Crunch. Between these two epic events, galaxies form, stars ignite and extinguish, and perhaps life itself arises, evolves and fades away. Critics argue it's not without its flaws, but what theory is, the oscillating universe theory offers a tantalizing vision of a universe that's not just a one-time event. In this model, time had no beginning as it's always oscillating. Now enter the realm of quantum mechanics. Our fifth theory, the quantum loop theory, suggests a radical departure from traditional views on the universe's inception. Instead of starting with a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, the Big Bang, the quantum loop theory, proposes that our universe underwent a previous phase. Imagine the universe as an endless loop, always changing, yet forever constant. In this model, the Big Bang is not the beginning, but rather a transition point. The universe before this point was shrinking. It reached a minimum size, then started to expand again. This is what we perceive as the Big Bang. In essence, the quantum loop theory proposes a universe that is cyclical with no distinct beginning or end. It's a perspective that challenges our linear understanding of time, hinting at a more complex, multidimensional reality. According to this theory, time existed before the Big Bang in a universe that was shrinking. Strings, anyone? Now let's dive into the fascinating world of string theory. This theory is a theoretical framework in which the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects called strings. String theory is unique in its suggestion that time, along with the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with, length, width, and height, is actually a manifestation of a higher dimensional universe. Intriguing, isn't it? This concept is a drastic departure from our everyday understanding of time as a linear, unidirectional flow from past to future. In the realm of string theory, time doesn't run its course in the conventional sense. Instead, it's intertwined with the fabric of space, forming a four-dimensional continuum known as space-time. And there's more. String theory goes beyond to postulate that there could be additional dimensions, potentially as many as seven, compactified into incredibly small scales that are currently beyond our ability to detect. Here's where things get even more mind-boggling. According to string theory, what we perceive as different fundamental particles are actually different vibrational states of the same fundamental string. It's like playing different notes on a violin string, each note corresponding to a different particle. But what does this mean for our understanding of time? Well, if time is just another dimension, it means that it could potentially have the same properties as the spatial dimensions. In other words, time could be a dimension that we can move in, just like we move in space. However, it's important to note that these ideas are still theoretical. Scientists are yet to find a way to test string theory, and it remains a subject of ongoing research and debate in the scientific community. To sum up, String theory is a revolutionary concept that redefines our understanding of time and the universe. It suggests a universe where time is not an absolute, independent entity, but rather an integral part of the cosmic tapestry, woven together with space into the intricate fabric of reality. In this theory, time is just another dimension in the universe. It's a profound thought, isn't it? But remember, this is just one of the many theories about the beginning of time. Imagine a multitude of universes, each with its own time. Welcome to the world of the multiverse theory, where reality is not a singular plane, but a vast sea of possibilities. This theory suggests the existence of an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws and timelines. In this theory, our universe is just one bubble in a frothy sea of other universes, each with its own distinct timeline. It's like an endless cosmic quilt with each patch representing a different universe, 
its own time ticking away independently. Some universes might have started their cosmic clocks eons before ours, while others may have just sparked into existence. Each universe could have its own Big Bang, its own evolution, its own end. The multiverse theory opens up a fascinating possibility. What if time, as we know it, is not universal, but simply local to our own universe? Here, time could have different beginnings in each universe. What if time had no boundaries? That's a question that can lead us down some truly fascinating rabbit holes of thought. One such rabbit hole is the no-boundary proposal, a theory put forth by two brilliant minds, Stephen Hawking and James Hartle. This proposal is not just a simple theory, but a radical reimagining of how we perceive the universe and its origins. It suggests that time, as we understand it, did not exist before the Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right. According to the No Boundary proposal, the concept of the beginning of the universe is meaningless. Now, you might be asking, how can that be? Doesn't everything need a beginning? Well, not according to Hawking and Hartle. They argue that the universe didn't have a start point, at least not in the way we traditionally understand it. Instead, the universe transitioned from a phase where the notions of space and time were not defined into a phase where they are. You see, in the very early universe, quantum effects were significant. As per the no-boundary proposal, the universe began in a quantum state, and as it expanded and cooled, it transitioned to a classical state, which is what we observe today. In this quantum state, the familiar rules of cause and effect that govern classical physics and our everyday lives don't apply. It's like a place where all paths are possible and nothing is determined until observed. This transition from a quantum to a classical universe is what we perceive as the beginning of time. So in the no boundary proposal, the universe doesn't have a boundary or a starting point in time. Instead, it's like the Earth with its surface being a two-dimensional space that doesn't have any boundaries. You can't fall off the edge of the Earth, right? In this view, asking about the beginning of time is like asking what's north of the North Pole. It's a question that doesn't make sense because, just like the Earth, time has no edges, no boundaries, and no defined starting point. Black holes, the ultimate time machines, Let's dive into the black hole theory, a fascinating proposal that shakes up our understanding of time's origin. In the vast cosmic stage, black holes are enigmatic players known for their insatiable appetite for matter and light. But what if they're more than just cosmic vacuums? The black hole theory suggests that each black hole might be a cosmic seed, giving birth to a new universe and therefore a new timeline. Imagine this. As a star collapses into a black hole, the immense gravitational pressure could trigger another Big Bang, birthing a new universe. This process could be happening repeatedly, creating a limitless number of universes, each with its own timeline. In this scenario, our universe could be just one of countless offspring from a black hole in another parent universe. It's a mind-boggling concept, isn't it? This theory suggests that time could have multiple beginnings. Now that's a thought to ponder. Finally, we arrive at a universe without time. A concept that seems almost impossible to grasp, the timeless universe theory posits a world where time as we understand it simply does not exist. Imagine a universe where past, present and future are not separate entities unfolding in a linear sequence, but rather they coexist simultaneously. Everything that has ever happened, everything that is happening now and everything that will ever happen is already occurring at once. It's like watching a film where all the scenes are playing out simultaneously rather than one after another. It's a radical departure from our usual understanding of time and it challenges our perception of reality. This theory, while mind-bending, is still in the realm of speculation. It's a testament to the boundless potential of scientific inquiry where even the most fundamental aspects of our existence, like time, can be questioned and reimagined. In this theory, time simply doesn't exist. So there you have it, 10 theories that attempt to explain the mystery of time. We journeyed from the ancient philosopher's musings, exploring the enigma of time's origin, then dove headfirst into the explosive beginnings suggested by the Big Bang theory. We oscillated back and forth with the universe itself, according to the oscillating universe theory, and looped through the quantum loop theory's intricate time sequences. 
We then entwined ourselves within the string theory's multidimensional landscape and plunged into the infinite realms of the multiverse theory. We crossed the boundaries, or lack thereof, with the no-boundary proposal and got sucked into the black hole theory's gravitational pull. Finally, we let go of the concept of time altogether with the timeless universe theory. Each theory, unique in its approach, provides a different lens through which to view time's elusive nature. While we may not have definitive answers, the quest to understand time continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge and imagination. As we conclude our expedition through the concept of time, we extend our gratitude for your company on this voyage through the universe and the theories seeking to interpret its enigmas. Remember, comprehending time isn't solely the pursuit of ancient philosophers or present-day physicists. It's an expedition we're collectively a part of, a mystery we're all unfolding. We're curious, what do you think? Are you captivated by the multidimensional landscape of the string theory, or do you side with the Big Bang theory? Or maybe you have a personal theory, your thoughts are welcome and valued. Express them in the comments below. Should you have learned something new from the video, we would appreciate if you hit the like button. It supports us greatly. If you haven't done so yet, we urge you to subscribe and click the bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on any future explorations through and space. Moreover, if you believe this video could ignite curiosity in someone you know, feel free to share it. After all, the quest to comprehend time is best when shared. Remain, stay inspired, and never stop exploring. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.